Smile. And here's a beautiful picture of you. But have you ever wondered if you can take a picture of an object by pointing the camera away from it or by not capturing the light that bounces off the object? Quantum imaging is the technique of forming the image out of photons that never really interacted with the object. This is achieved by harnessing the non-classical properties of light like photon entanglement and relying on spontaneous parametric down conversion. But we can't see anything unless light interacts with the object and bounces back to the eye or camera lens. So how does a quantum imaging setup look like? Let's assume the setup right here. It's a crystal setup like these. Photons are the smallest portion of light. Hence, in experiments involving them, we use pulses. Let's say a pulse is beamed out of this. This crystal splits the pulse into two photons of lower energy, namely the signal and idler photon. These photons are spatially entangled. Meaning, if you find the position of one photon by solving the Hamiltonian of superposition, you will know the lateral position of the second photon. The same goes for momentum. Moving on, the signal photon passes straight through the object, whereas the ideal photon interacts with the object and then passes through another crystal where it splits into the signal and idler photon. Both the signal photons are then captured by the camera. Since the information in the signal and idler photon is the same, we form the image of the front of this book, despite the camera not facing it. Quantum imaging allows the photons to have different wavelengths, which makes it useful in many fields. In medicine, for instance, doctors might probe tissues using invisible wavelengths of light that won't damage cells while simultaneously using entangled visible light beams to create clear images of the tissues. The military can use quantum imaging to detect enemies and objects in situations where the naked eye and traditional cameras fail. Best of all, through quantum imaging, you can know Schrodinger's cat is dead or alive without opening the box or directly interacting with the system.